Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today is day three of an 11-day experience known as the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. If you bought any other bundles before, you didn't get this one because it's all new content, all new contributors, eBooks, courses, yoga, mindset, business, and it's all raw. And there's hundreds of recipes, including this one that I just made. It's rugula. Can you believe it? Raw vegan rugula. I love rugula, or at least I used to because I'm Jewish. We always had it on Friday nights. And but it's made with flour, white flour, white sugar, butter, cream cheese. Well, this has four ingredients too, but they're all healthy whole foods. And it's also nut free, which I love. This is a recipe that you'll get in the bundle that was created by Debbie Adler in her book. And she's actually going to make one for you today a carrot icebox cake. So welcome her to the show. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you again. Oh, hi, Chef AJ. It's great to be here. I'm so excited. To- I, lo- I love your shirt. It reminds me of the Partridge family bus. <laughs> I love that show. Oh, me my God. too. All of us that are of a certain age did. I love that <laughs> show growing up. Oh my God. I dreamt of being on that show. I loved it so much. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. I know people say it reminds them of a painting of a certain of a certain artist, but I never heard that before. So that's why it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. um, who, did you, who was your favorite partridge? I, I mean, everybody liked Keith, but I, I like Danny. He was my favorite. Oh, I think. No, it was Keith. Are you kidding me? Oh, God, I had such a crush. And he has such a good voice. We still listen to David Cassidy from time to time. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, man. Yeah. The good old days when there were like three and a half channels on the TV. Yeah. <laughs> now there's it's just like, he, I mean, I'm so behind on all the shows that I want to see. Ted Lasso and the new season of Mrs. Maisel. I bet you like Mrs. Maisel. I just I love Mrs. Maisel. This is the best season yet. You know, usually they go downhill. This one's going uphill. It's so funny. Uh, the writers are beyond what you ever could imagine after the what the fifth season or something it's the last season it's incredible so they're going out with a bang and it is it is <laughs> unbelievably funny so it, you're in for a treat if I you watch it. it I love Susie she's my favorite character yeah yeah she's great yeah just really just says it like it is she's so funny yeah, yeah. doesn't care this yeah. is who I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So you have really gotten into a lot more raw lately. Yes. Well, the last time I was on, I did tell you I was trying to go raw because Lissa had inspired me and I wanted to um, see if I could do something different with my diet, even though, you know, it was, it was very healthy, whole food, plant-based and vegan. But I had turned 60 last year and I thought, oh, you know, the last you know, third of my life, maybe I could up the ante a little bit with, you know, health and whatever I need to do to, you know, lift and, and, and separate and whatever (laughs) else you you need to do at a certain age. So I thought, oh, and then of course I was in, you know, the bundle with you, uh, ultimate weight loss bundle. And then Lisa had the gorgeous artistic raw food. I was like, that's it. That's it. I could, I could do that. That's like, like the next level I thought. So sure enough, I started to do it at hundred percent. I don't do it hundred percent, but I have incorporated it maybe 70% into my diet and it is a game changer. And I remember you telling me, you said, oh no, I, I couldn't do right after two years because I couldn't sleep. I had too much energy and you're right. I mean, I can't sleep, but it gives you so much energy. Um, like my, my husband yesterday said, you know, you're zooming. That's funny. <laughs> it's like my dog. My dog zooms at 4 p.m. every day and maybe like at you know in the morning at 6 6 a.m. And then he says, Well, you're zooming too. So stop it. You know, it's like I can't, I'm so excited. I have so much energy. And and that's like I was never like that before. And I the only thing I can contribute attribute it to is this this raw food. So I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good to always add more raw. And like, like Liz always says, nobody has to be 100%. It's just great inspiration and ideas to make it delicious. And the recipes, not they're not difficult, at least the ones I've tried. And they're all brand new, guys. So definitely check it out if this is something you're interested in. 
Yeah, it's and it's very e a lot of them are very easy. Most of them are very few ingredients, so there's really no reason to try it. Even though um, you know maybe you don't have a dehydrator, you know you don't have to have a dehydrator for a lot of them. So maybe see if you like the other recipes, and then invest in the dehydrator if you think that you're going to keep going. Because um, you know a lot of some of them do have a dehydrate need a dehydrator. I figured out, Chef AJ, that my air fryer goes down to 107. So I, I think yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of people with the Breville have, they have an air fryer function. Yeah. And so I use, sometimes I use my air fryer as a dehydrator, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> I mean, I, ha I have a dehydrator, but it's, it's uh, underneath my cabinet and I have to take it out, but the air fryer is on my counter. So it's a little bit more accessible. So I use that sometimes. So Oh, so to the people who have air fryers and you don't have a dehydrator, you can use your air fryer. It does go down to very low temps. And I've made some things successfully in there. So just so you know, you know, before you invest in a dehydrator, you can maybe try it with your air fryer and, and see if you like it. So um, today I am making my carrot icebox cakes, raw vegan icebox cake. And an icebox cake is a no-bake cake. And normally it is made with cream and wafers and condensed milk and all the nefarious things that we don't eat. So I decided to make an icebox cake with good ingredients. So we are going to start with 18 carrots. This is 18 carrots cut up. And today I thought, you know what? I missed an opportunity. I, sh I should have called it 18 carrot gold icebox cake. I was going to say yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just thought of it. So um, too late. It's called carrot icebox cake, but now it's 18 carrot gold icebox cake. And I'm going to pour the already cut carrots into a food processor. And that's the first thing. Every, the, the work is done in here. Very little work. And then I'm going to add in my dates. These are medjool dates. I soaked them. You want to soak them to give them a little bit of moisture. And also it blends better with the carrots after they've been soaked. It, you could do it for 20 minutes. I actually did it overnight. And so they're really mushy, which is good because then you really, it really incorporates with the carrots nicely. So let's just do it a little bit now. Okay, and we're gonna add in some more things here before. As a mind of its own, this thing. And then we're gonna add in some raisins. We have some raisins here. And we have some walnuts, raw walnuts. You've got the breville, you? Mm -hmm. you? have the breville, the breville food process. I do. Nice. Yes, yes yeah. I do. Oh. Um, uh, cinnamon and ginger. Okay. And we're going to just pulse because we don't want it to be too, too smooth. You know, once we have the nuts in there and the raisins, we don't want it to be too smooth. So we're just going to pulse and just incorporate all the ingredients in. I'm just going to scrape down a little bit from the top. Is it really 18 carats? Mona wants to know because she says that seems oh. Like a lot. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, uh, I include the, yeah, you, you could see it in the recipe. Yeah. It's but eight, are, it's, are, it's, but how, how big are they? Like baby carrots or? Big oh, carrots? no, 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 no. Um, no, it's regular size carrot, medium carrots that you get. Wow. You know, all, all together. Oh, yeah, no, because this is, this is a big cake. So you're going to need 18. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big cake. You'll see. I'm going to show you later, but. Um, I'm just going to pulse a little bit more to make sure we don't get some big pieces of carrot. You don't want that. Is that... Okay. Now, okay. Now what we're going to do before I start layering, I'm going to do the, the, the frosting and um, being that I don't have too much space here or electricity, <laughs> I'm going to just show you what I did. So I have here some dates some uh, cashews that have been soaked overnight. I, I say 20 minutes, but I realize it really does need to be overnight because you need them to be very soft to get your soft 
frosting. You do not want a textured soft, uh, you, you know, it shouldn't be textured. It has to be very smooth. Uh, coconut water and vanilla bean are in here and you put it in a high speed blender and it comes out like this. It's very smooth, like real, real smooth frosting. And then we start the fun process of layering our cake. So I lined a nine inch spring form pan with parchment. You just line it and you know, cut out a circle and you line the pan. This is a spring form pan because when you take it out, you don't want to have to shake it out. It's going to fall apart. You want it to be uh, something that you could just release and it'll, it'll hold its form. So we're going to start our layering. And this is very fun. We just take our mixture here and we're going to put in, I don't know, um, if we're doing two layers, uh, you know, just half, half of what you have in here and just pat it down really well and just smooth it down and make sure you have an even layer. I'll show you in a second once I get it to be an even layer. Okay. Okay, we have an, a, 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 an even layer there. And now we're going to spread our frosting on top. That's going to be the middle, some of the middle and some of the top. So we're just going to spread it around. This is the most fun part because of course everybody likes frosting. Not everybody. I know one person named Ben who doesn't. Oh, okay. We don't <laughs> like, we don't like Ben. Everybody but Ben likes frosting. He. <laughs> So tell us about the book that you have in the bundle, that your brand new book. Yeah, so my contribution is a uh, raw sweet. So it's called Raw Sweet Feast. And it contains 20 recipes that are raw treats. And they are things like chocolate cream pie, this carrot cake, uh, cranberry truffle, the rugula, granola bars, like granola bars. Um, macaroons, uh, everything you like to eat, but it's raw. Like if you, if, if you have a sweet tooth, like I do, you're, you're going to have fun because it's, it's really, you know, very satisfying and it's all raw. So this is my first layer. And then I'm just going to, I think I'll just do two layers. So we're just going to put this one on top. We lost our blade. We don't need it anymore. And just put this on top. So I know that people get intimidated when they see the final product of a layer cake because it looks kind of complicated. You know, oh, wow. And they think they can't do it. But you see, I'm doing it in front of you. It's very easy. You're just, you know, pouring, pouring stuff out into a spring form pan in layers. That's all it is. So it's very easy. Anyone can do it, even your children. It's very, very easy. Okay, and I'm done with my second layer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Okay, so that's my second layer. And now I'm just going to top it with the frosting again. And then I think I'll just put the whole thing. And then we're gonna decorate it. So you see the 18 carats didn't even fill up the nine inch pan. <laughs> you could even use 36 carats if you want, but I think this is big enough. We don't need a huge cake, especially if you don't have a big family. So this is probably going to be enough. Does, right. does your family like your raw desserts? Oh yeah. Um, my husband, especially. He, he really does. So this is what it's going to look like. However, we're not done yet. We're going to sprinkle it with some walnuts. Now in the, in the bundle, this is not my recipe, but um, somebody has a date, uh, some sort of a, a date covered uh, walnut recipe that she dehydrates. It's, it's 
So I made it. It's it, these are the walnuts with a, a date paste instead of like maple glaze. It's like date glaze. And she shows you how to make it. Her name is Lena. And so her her I, I just decided you don't have to. You could use just raw. I just thought, oh, what? Yeah, let me try it. So um, those are the date glazed walnuts. And then I'm just going to use some unsweetened uh, coconut like that. And then I'm going to, just for the fun of it, I didn't put it in the recipe, just I thought, oh, maybe we need orange, you know, just to make it more colorful. So I'm just going to use the zest of an orange or, or you can use the zest of a carrot maybe <laughs> to make the top orange to show people what's inside. And also to, you know, if you use the orange, it gives it a nice essence, very refreshing. And it looks pretty. We always want our food to look pretty and appetizing. Liz says I made several of Debbie's recipes and everyone has been fabulous. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, so we're not done yet. You can't really eat it like this. It needs to go in the freezer for at least two hours. So this goes in the freezer and then I made another one. So here, this is what, it kind of shrinks in the freezer. I'm kidding. I didn't have oh, two. I get it. That, that's funny. I didn't have another nine inch pan. So I used a smaller one, but this is what it looks like when it is done. So you have, the same thing, it's just a little smaller. And that's it, very easy, very little work. And um, you have a delicious dessert. Yeah, Molly wants, to, Molly wants to know if this recipe is in the bundle, absolutely. Yes, it is in the bundle. It's in the Raw Sweet Feast ebook. That's cute, I like the little one. Me too, I prefer it actually. The big one kind of intimidates me because I'm not, you know, that's, that's a big cake. It's that's like, that's like a birthday cake. <laughs> so it's nobody's birthday. So I think I'll just, you know, work at it, but you know, it's in the freezer. So you don't really have to worry about it going bad. That's the thing. Um, MJ would like to know if you have raw nut free treats in your book that are fun for kids lunch boxes. Well, MJ, this has no nuts in it and, uh, and it's raw and it took me not very long to make out of four ingredients. It's actually really good. Very, very sweet if you like sweet things because it's made with the fruit, the whole fruit, nothing but the fruit. I didn't really look how many of the recipes had nuts in the book. Do yeah, that, yeah, there, there are a few. Uh, you can definitely find things without nuts. Uh, if your son or daughter has food allergies, you can ask me uh, how to substitute. If you do find a recipe that you think your, your child will like, you can ask me for a substitute if, if it does contain nuts, because my son was born with food allergies and I am an expert at, at substituting. Um, so don't oh, worry she, about that. She, I think it's not that her son necessarily has a nut, nut allergy. The school is nut free. MJ, oh. does coconut, in your school, does coconut count as a nut? Because is, is coconut technically a fruit? I don't know. But, it's a fruit. Um, People, um, this is this is a misconception. This is very, very important. Coconut is a droop, which is a one seeded fruit, and it is not a nut. Coconut is a misnomer. It's a it does it, it is not a nut. It is no, in no way, shape, or form a nut. If you happen to have a coconut allergy, that is a totally separate thing. Believe me, I know from experience because I was holding back coconut from my cooking when I, my son was diagnosed and I thought, oh my God, I can't have coconut. So one day by accident, I uh, put some coconut in some cupcakes that were meant for a customer and, and myself. And I was, um, you know, I don't know, we were doing something and um, my son took a bite of it and I was like, oh, that's the one with the coconut and nothing happened. He was fine. I was like, wait a minute. And I realized, and I started to do research, like, is coconut a tree nut? No, it is not a tree nut. It is not a nut. It's a fruit. So if anybody ever says, oh, well, you know, um, um, you know, I, I can't have tree nuts. Coconut is not in that category. 
So just, you know, there's so many uh, things that people believe. And I just want to clear that up because I was going to go through his whole life. Oh, you can't have coconut, which would not have been good. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So there's a question from someone with a cashew allergy or her son is or maybe she's allergic. But uh, what can she replace? Because your frosting had cashews. Oh, coconut isn't okay for her school. Oh, where'd she go? Yikes. Um, okay, so coconut isn't okay for your school either. Wonder why. That's if it's not enough, MJ. Hopefully, W. Up, oh, she's coming back. Good. And then I'll, Megan, I'll get to your question as soon as she comes back. Yep, Sherry, it does look delicious. Brittany, I would say you could replace it with coconut. You could replace it with hemp, anything that's creamy, white. I mean, if you didn't want it to be raw, I could do tofu or beans. So Debbie, you came back. Yay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Megan wants to know how long to defrost the cake for before eating it. Oh, uh, just, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes. That's it. And you just go at it. Yeah, don't wait too long. Yep. And Brittany's son is allergic to cashews. So what can she replace the cashews with? Well, um, you know, there are recipes with um, like tofu to make, you know, to make a frosting. Um, you can use, um, there's a, a thing called um, erythritol, which I don't know if you're okay with that, but it's like a, it's like sugar, but it's not sugar. It's, it's like a sugar alcohol. And if you just get the powdered erythritol, you just add lemon juice and water and you have a, a beautiful frosting with zero sugar. And, um, you know, if you're okay with that, I mean, this it's healthy. It's derived, erythritol is derived from fruits and vegetables. So there's nothing uh, bad about it or unhealthy about it, but people hear erythritol, they think it's some, you know, God, God knows what it is. Um, you know, there are, there are a lot of substitutes for different frostings that you can use. So um, that's, you know, I don't think that should be a problem. Okay. And MJ says, unfortunately, her school is coconut free as well. I'm not sure why, but. Because they don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's saying Japanese whites, Lil, Lil, in, Lil in Jacksonville says white sweet potatoes, Japanese white sweet potatoes. Yeah. Cashews. That's a great idea. Yeah. And and uh, Joyce is saying, could you slice the cake so we could see what it looks like in the middle? Oh, yeah. So, the, well, that one's not ready yet, but let me just um, find a knife. Hold on. So it basically looks like what it looks like on the inside. Uh, if you could see that. It's it just uh, it's the same inside and out. It's the layers of cake and frosting, and that's it. Wow, there that is just like carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. It's it's and there's no flour. It's just it's so healthy. No reason not to make it and easy. You're getting a lot of carrot, a lot of vitamin A, car you know, beta carotene. It's, it's a win-win. Wow. That was great. Hey, um, do you, have you had a chance to look at some of the other books in the bundle, like Lissa's rap book? I did. And I, I already made her carrot cumin uh, wrap, which came out delicious. I, uh, I did a little uh, reel about it because I was so excited, you know, that it came out so good. You know, I didn't know if it was going to, if I was going to be successful the first time making a wrap and what, it, you know, like it perfect, it was perfect. You know, um, I can't, I was so excited because for the last month I've been watching her on Instagram making the wraps and I, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to make these. I can't wait to make these. They look so good. And, to, and the fact that it's all fruits and vegetables and it's like bread to me, it's like a miracle. Have you made them? I haven't made it yet, but I'm so excited, guys. The, the, if you follow Lissa Raw Food Romance on Instagram, she makes these, they, she calls them hand salads and they're, they're unbelievable and they're low fat. I, I don't know how she came up with all those recipes. It's, yeah, it's, and, and 
yeah, so you're so so what's in the wrap is fruits and vegetables, or yeah, mostly vegetables and things like little veggie burgers. That she she gives you different fillings, and she gives you a sauce to go with it. And the wrap is also made from fruits and vegetables, and, and it sticks together. She has a way to stick it together. She tells you, and so you're not eating any bread. You're not eating any flour. So it's like you're getting that satisfaction, that say, you know, the satiety of eating a like a bready type of thing. Oh my God. Yeah. I can't wait to make the other flavors. Yeah. It looks great. Guys, yeah. have more questions about the raw bundle? The link is in the ch chat, uh, the show notes, which is right uh, underneath this video or questions from Debbie about anything or any of his, her recipes. Uh, okay. So she showed the cake. Uh, yeah. So like what, how does your day go now that you're mostly raw? Like, is it like raw for breakfast and lunch and maybe a little cooked food for dinner? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Because, you know, by dinner, I'm like, oh, I think I want something warm. Um, so yeah, it, it's, I like savory things in the morning, which I don't know why, but I do. So I'm like eating raw vegan sushi for breakfast with, with matcha green tea. And, and then like for lunch, there'll be a big salad with toppings. I just like a lot of different toppings. Um, and then, yeah, by, by dinner time, I'm, I'm craving something a little bit warm. And so I'll, you know, whatever it is like Thai food or Chinese food or whatever it is I'm craving. And, um, so that'll be how it goes, but, um, you know, maybe, maybe one day I, I soon, hopefully I, I can do the whole day raw because I, I, I want to see if there's like a, some sort of a bigger difference mm -hmm. in, in how I feel and look, I don't know. Nice. Well, you look great. And Apple said she made Lissa's crispy cauliflower ginger wrap yesterday and it was so good. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Joyce wants to know if you can refreeze the leftover cake. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're not going to eat the whole cake. So, it, I mean, <laughs> absolutely. You just keep putting it in the freezer whenever, uh, you know, you have leftovers and then it'll be fine for maybe probably, you know, probably three months at least. So yeah, don't worry about it going bad. Cool. Nice. Well, anyway, thank you so much. This looks delicious and your uh, arugula are delicious too. Oh, and you, you people you. can still buy stuff from you, right? Don't you? Because I'm on your email. You sell like bars and all kinds of neat yeah. things. Yes, I sell uh, granola bars now. So it's um, every month there's a new flavor. And as a matter of fact, my flavor this month is raw vegan cinnamon rolls. Mm. So it's made from buckwheat groats nice. and it is so delicious. You didn't give me that information. If you want, you know, we can definitely add it to the show notes. It was most. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. please, please. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I wasn't thinking in, in terms, I was thinking in terms of the bundle. So I just, you know, focused on that, but yeah, I mean, if people just are on my email list, they'll, they'll get an email about the, the, the flavor of the month. So it's uh, www.debbieadler.tv. And they, th there's a, like an opt-in and, and once they're on the list, they'll get like, like a monthly thing about the um, flavor of the month. So this, this month it's the raw vegan cinnamon rolls. And I'm very excited about it because it's crunchy on the outside and it, um, oh, I think mm -hmm. I, Gooey on the inside, right? Gooey on the inside, caramelized, you know, dates and cinnamon. I'm telling you, the buckwheat grows. You wouldn't think of them as being something you'd want in a treat. It's out of this world. Wow, that sounds great. Amali was saying modern artists with paintings like your shirt is like a Dutch artist, Pierre Mondriani. Yes, Pian. thank you. Pian. That's the artist. Yes, thank you. Thank yep. you for that. Yes. That's the one I, I couldn't remember because somebody a while ago had told me that it reminds her of a, a Mondriani painting. I couldn't remember the name. Yes, this is one of his paintings. I maybe didn't know it. The, maybe that's where the Partridge family got the idea for their bus because I swear oh, it's like their maybe. bus. Yeah, and who knows? Yeah. Ste Stephanie says, cannellini beans can be a cashew substitute in frosting. Absolutely. There's always an option, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure I could put a, a million different things I'm, you know, blanking now, but yeah, everyone else has come up with very nice substitutes, the potato, the, the cannellini bean. Um, there's, there's a, a million substitutes now that people use for, for frosting. So um, it's not a problem if you don't want to use cashews. 
Uh, Debbie's recipe for the carrot cake is in the show notes, but if you want the arugula and hundreds or actually almost thousands of other recipes, you got to get the bundle. And yes. so yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it because you get it for life. You know, as soon as you download it, it's yours. It's on your computer for life. Nobody's going to take it away from you and you can use it for the rest of your life and, and really thrive because as Chef AJ said before, it's not just recipes. There are 400 recipes. But in addition to that, you get things about aligning your chakras. And I did that. I mean, that was you asked me about which of the books I've already read. That was one of them. And I was blown away by Darlene Jordan. She wrote this, How to uh, Balance Your Chakras. I'm telling you, it works. And I, I am here to tell you, read that book. Um, if you have little aches and pains or whatever, she tells you how to get rid of them and it works. Um, it tells you about uh, how to manifest your dream life. There's a, a law of attraction that the, the girl, the the author tells you how, how to do that. Um, there is a, there's one about uh, uh, yin yoga, how to do yes. yin yoga. Yin yoga. Are you talking about the seven day chakra expansion, seven day guide to awaken your physical and energy body? Is that the one by Dan um, Darlene Jordan? Um, I'm not sure what she calls it. I, uh, I'm not sure. Is it Darlene Jordan? Darlene Jordan. Does she have more than one book in the bundle? Oh, no, no. That's it then. That's it. But it's about chakras. That, yeah. That's, that's the one. It is an amazing book. I mean, I almost skipped over it, but then I thought, wait a minute, you know, I'm going to, uh, let me see what this is. And it, it's just, it's miraculous because my wrists were hurting. I let my left wrist, especially. And I did this thing and she shows you, cause a lot of us are using our computers too much, our sh- social media too much. And she has an exercise in there. I'm telling you, I've gone to physical therapists and all sorts of doctors and that, and her thing was the one that worked. So so I bow down to Darlene. That's a, a game changer if you have little aches and pains, but it's not just about wrists. It's about everything, your back and your feet and your angles, everything, any body part that you're having trouble with, there's a way to use a chakra to make it better. So, and there's more, I just can't think of everything. So if people are just thinking they're getting recipes, they're getting a lifestyle, a life transformation with the bundle for only $50. It's worth way over 1800 so that's that's what you get. It's that's a very good investment. Such a deal. Well, thanks, Debbie. It's always great catching up with you. Yes. Th- thank you, Chef AJ, for having me again. It's very exciting Any- to see you. Anytime. Wish I knew you when I lived in the same <laughs> Sherman Oaks. I, I mean, not, and not that we're just everybody's from LA, but we literally live probably blocks away from each other. I oh. know. I know. I probably could have walked oh. to your house. I bet you could. Christina asks you, I'm guessing, because you're the one that's doing more raw. Was it hard on your digestion in the beginning? You, you know, you have to do it slowly. Yeah, that's a good question. You do have to ease into it. Yes. Um, just do a little bit at a time and you will be fine because your body craves this kind of stuff. Your microbiome needs this kind of stuff. So yeah, if you haven't done anything like this before, sure, just do like one salad a day and just a little bit of the roughage that, you know, maybe the, um, you know, if you're using Brussels sprouts or broccoli, something like that, that has a lot of fiber, just, you know, use one or two florets or one or two uh, Brussels sprouts. Don't use a whole pound. Um, just go slowly and ease into it and then increase it as you get more comfortable and your body will adjust as you go along. So that's a very good question. Yeah, absolutely. And even if people transitioning to a cooked vegan, same thing, go low and slow as Dr. Wilby likes to say. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You don't want a bad experience and then you're turned off to the whole thing. You want to just do it slowly, body adjusts, and then you feel great. Great. Well, thanks, Deb. Oh, thanks, Chef AJ. Thank you for having me. My Bye-bye. Pleasure. Take care. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time for Q&A with Dr. Jessica Krant, the plant-based